Okay, we have sports right now, and it seems too early to be talking about baseball, but why early. not? Well, Never it's too early, you said? It's called winter early. ball. Now, this won't compare to a picture of a possum, but there is some <laughs> good artwork here that uh, you can go see. Crawling along the 101, you might not even notice the sign for L.A. City College at the Vermont Avenue exit. Sometime between now and March 4th, though, you may want to head over there for the baseball reliquary is presenting the exhibit by Ben Sakaguchi titled An Unauthorized History of Baseball in 100-Odd Paintings. It's an art, history, and sports lesson all in one. There are baseball images burned in our brains. Whether it's Rick Monday saving a flag from burning at Dodger Stadium or J.T. Snow scooping up the manager's son from near disaster. If there's an unforgettable image or story in the national pastime, artist Ben Sakaguchi has captured it on canvas, or in Ben's case, on an orange crate. Like many artists, Ben is a bit of a recluse, but with more than 100 works in the exhibit Winter Ball, his bright, bold, and provocative paintings make a loud statement. A large part of the exhibit is devoted to Jackie Robinson, who, like the retired Pasadena City College professor Sakaguchi, hailed from Pasadena. Friend and L.A. City College professor Lamont Westmoreland helps interpret some of the Robinson theme material. And then over here, we have when Jackie went to the Brooklyn Dodgers, uh, all these players, and most of them were from the South, they didn't want to have anything to do with playing with them. And then down here, we have Pee Wee Reese, who more or less took Jackie under his wing and became his uh, good friend and kind of helped him through those turbulent times. Every era of number 42's career is represented, from the minor leagues to military service to retirement, when the Tigers, Phillies, and Red Sox still didn't have a single black player on their rosters. Many of the artist's earlier work was dedicated to his own family's internment in a Japanese detention center. And so race is a significant part of his collection. From American Indians' participation to blacks and Latinos in baseball, and even the eminent domain eviction of Mexican residents from Chavez Ravine when Dodger Stadium was built. There are also dramatic pieces relating to steroids and even AIDS in baseball. The pieces are meticulously researched, gleaned from as many as 70 photo sources, while Sakaguchi's wife, Jan, scours the internet so that the autographs are exact replicas. A typical work week is six days, from 6 a.m. to nearly midnight, with Fridays devoted totally to research. And while that research lends a bite to many of his works, there's always a sense of humor, sometimes hidden in the make-believe and true-to-life California towns devoted to the orange crates of his youth and the family grocery business. Whether it's Grabner, California for the Bartman Willie Mays catches, or Connor, California for the one-time Dodger and rifleman Chuck Connors, the works each warrant and extend an inspection and inspire a desire for the 2006 season to get here, if only to give Ben Sakaguchi more ideas. Again, it runs through March 4th at LA City College in the library there, and uh, if you're interested, 1,600 bucks for one of those, <laughs> and they're for sale. He sold about a third of them already. That wow. is amazing. It would be wonderful to go see that. Yeah, that it was great. True. I loved it. So a, unique. Had a lot of childhood memories just watching There you that. go. Yeah, that was Thank great. You.